Kaido-san or Cheeto-san, no matter how you pronounce it, it is still a rather revolutionary substance whose uses are still being discovered. My name is Andrea, and today we will be exploring Kaido-san. What is Kaido-san? It is a biopolymer produced from crustacean shells such as crab, shrimp, and lobster. It was discovered in 1859 by Charles Marie Benjamin Roger while he was working with chemical properties of the base polymer chitin. Roger was primarily known for his correlation of physiology to microscopy in anatomical structure. Since that discovery, the purposes for chitosan have been slowly discovered and so has the methodologies to the production of the chitosan. Chitosan is produced from chitin, which is found in the shells of most everything crustacean exoskeletons, cells, bacterium, insects, almost anything that has a covering. Crustaceans have the most plentiful amount of chitin, and in particular, shrimp and crab. Chitin is extracted from other binding materials and shells in a two-step process, deproteinization and demineralization, concepts that have been simplified to be conducted even in a 30-year-old high school lab. Deproteinization is the act of removing the binding proteins from around the chitin polymer. This is done by a rapid boil of shells in sodium hydroxide or drain cleaner at 85 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. This breaks the protein bonds as well as other bonds keeping the chitin in solid state. The resulting product is then soaked in fairly concentrated hydrochloric acid descaler for 24 hours. This is the act of demineralization. Each stage produces varied size pores in the product. To produce catasan, the chitin goes through a process called deacetylation, where the acetyl-CoA enzyme is removed along with other histamine enzymes commonly associated with shellfish allergies. Chitin is then placed in 25% sodium hydroxide at 90 degrees, and here's where things get complex, for 6 to 10 hours. This procedure was modified from numerous research sources and then adapted according to the resource availability and to adapt to environmental pressures different from sea level. Making chitosan at higher elevations than sea level actually reduces the amount of deacetylation cooking time. Once chitosan is deacetylated, it is filtered, washed, and dried. The substance can be ground down to the texture needed for whatever application is desired. When added to other polymers, it can enhance gelification, and when added to starches, it can be made into spheres and other shapes. At each step, the hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide is neutralized into harmless proteins and salts that can be dissolved. This method has a very small amount of waste product. Chitosan is described as a polysaccharide made of linked D-glucosamine. Another process that chitin can go through is hydrolysis, where chitin is boiled in hydrochloric acid instead of sodium hydroxide, producing glucosamine, a product used in joint replacement therapy and to reduce arthritic damage in body joints. This is the acetylated form of chitin, known as N-acetyl-D-glucosamine. So why go through all this trouble to produce chitosan? Chitosan has a very unique property, chelation, or the ability to absorb molecules of varying sizes through ionic binding. The pore sizes of chitosan can be adjusted through the deacetylation process time to make it more or less absorbent. This leads to many potential uses, both proven and theorized. Chitosan has a number of commercial, biomedical, and environmental uses. Chitosan can be used in agriculture as a fertilizer, seed treatment, and biopesticide to reduce fungal infections, bark beetle infestations, and to reduce spoilage. In industry, it can be used in paints to reduce the amount of damage from scratching and other damages. Recently, a new superabsorbent wound dressing bandage was produced by the medical industry and military that can be injected into the wound to stop bleeding in the field until proper medical care can be administered. Biobandages have also been produced from chitosan, and drug delivery systems have been produced using chitosan as well. Controversial uses include as a dietary supplement to limit the body's ability to absorb fat, and as a cancer treatment, where the chitosan neutralizes the chemicals that cause cancer and restore the normal function of the cells. A major function of chitosan for many years has been as a water treatment filter to remove sediment and biological contaminants from drinking water, making it safe to drink. Chitosan also has indications that it can remove heavy metals and oil from water sources. Recent tests have also used chitosan to remove radionucleotides, hormones, antibiotics, and ph pharmaceuticals from water, 
producing nearly 99.9 contaminant and particle-free drinking water. Kaidosan can be integrated into other hydrogels for filtration and other purposes and to make stronger plastics. Kaidosan is biodegradable and non-toxic and can be washed, therefore recycled in its purpose, even if it has been colored with pigments. Theoretically, it can be used to extract contaminants from other liquids, including blood. One of the premier qualities of Kaidosan is that it is self-healing. So therefore, as an additive, it can repair itself, lending Kaidosan to a future of self-healing building materials and even the potential of biosynthetic skin. It can also be cleansed and reused while remaining non-toxic and safe. The production of Kaidosan is self-sustainable and can open up numerous environmental possibilities, such as crustacean recycling programs, which can also open up different economic opportunities in areas where the economy has suffered a downturn. Kaidosan is truly a material of the future.